I think it was fantastic. I think uh, groups like this need to get together more often because BIM is such a, I'm not going to say unknown, but there's so many things to BIM that uh, people are unaware of. Um, and the state of BIM in this in, in our country right now is is such a, there's such there's a disconnect between certain levels of the of, of the of the supply chain. So having everyone come together like this just kind of bridges those gaps a lot sooner. So. One of the top you know takeaways for me is is the fact is 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 the fact that the trade contractors like Prater are doing BIM irrespective of whether or not client wants BIM. Uh, for their own benefits and mitigating the design risks and their own risks as a business. Uh, on the other hand, we have designers who are also integrating BIM by default as their design process. So we as a main contractor is very encouraging to hear uh, that BIM is becoming sort of a standard, you know, norm at the tier one sort of contractors and designers practices. It was really good actually to get a variety of people around a table. Uh, really good to sort of from a contractor's perspective, obviously hear from other contractors, but then also hear it from some design team representatives, some guys from specialist contractors, um, and one or two other people that were around uh, there present today as well. Um, it's good to, I think for me, it's good to sort of get reassurance that the kind of issues and the sort of obstacles that we're coming up against, it's a kind of common theme around, around the table, as it were. It raised a number of really good issues, but possibly we need a balance in that kind of room. We were all very BIM enthusiastic, so um, I spoke with some of the guys beforehand and maybe we need more of a debate where not, not so much we're looking at traditional delivery, but we're looking at a conversation between two schools, because we've got one school of thought represented there, and so may, maybe that's something we could do next. Um, interesting points raised, um, the 3D to 4D workflow, uh, how designers see the world, how we see the world. There was good debate, there was interaction, and there was honesty as well. I don't think, you know, no one sat there really and said that, you know, they've solved the problem, you know, that, that they are, uh, you know, they've mastered it. There was an acceptance that there's still a long way to go, which there is, but we're all working hard to achieve that.